Okay, so first step before we build anything is let's think about colors, actually. Yeah, okay. because we're not going to have a lot of time after we build them to decide what colors we're going to no. use. No, and um, by thinking about colors now, it might affect how we build as well, because we might prime different pieces, different colors, mm -hmm. potentially. Now, there's only one way forward uh, for this kind of a project, and that is the Army Painters yes. uh, sprays. Okay, Definitely. The reason for that is, is it gives us uh, the ability to put down a lot of color quickly, um, it goes down really well, provided you read the instructions on the can, okay? But also, they have their paints color matched with with the actual sprays. Mm -hmm. So whatever we get in a spray, we know we can get a color matched paint, yep. which will help us later on if we wanted to touch something up or highlight, or we're unlikely to do any highlights. But, you know, Very you, understand, <laughs> yeah. you understand where I'm going with that. So first up, we have the algorithm. Let me show you guys some pictures of the algorithm that we're looking at. Can you see that? Is it in focus, Justin? Yeah? So you can see they've got this kind of fetching red scheme, and then the infiltrators have this kind of a darker darker mm -hmm. scheme. Now, we don't need to stick to this. No. Um, oh, for a piece of war, we always we have our own requirements for color, and that's it's high contrast because it needs to be visible on camera. So um, high contrast, John. What do we reckon? Will we go with the pure red? Yeah, I'd say pure red's the way to go. At least for the, the normal AI units. Yeah. For the infiltrators, possibly a uniform grey with a red wash. Possibly. Mm -hmm. I'm very tempted to keep the, the infiltration squad. I see if, if you start, if the infiltration squad is red as well, there's always the danger that you start to mix minis up. You know, especially in your early stages of getting into a miniatures game. So if there's a squad that can be a different color, maybe it's worth actually being a different color. Um, I'm or somewhat... Or this darker red. Yeah. With a dry brush? Yeah. That could be an option. Um, the difficulty is... You know, they're an infiltration squad, so you would imagine... And we'll find this out. They've got reflex armor, which you would imagine is some kind of reactive kind of Perhaps, armor yeah. that darkens them down and mm -hmm. makes them harder to see and stuff like that. Maybe if you um, use plate mill with a red wash. I'm thinking a metallic. Doing a shimmery sort of look then. Well, you, well what about plate mill with a red ink? Mm, perhaps. Could yeah. that work? You know, to give them a, a slightly more metallic-y kind of a, a look. Um, I don't know. I don't know on that one. Um, or gun metal. See, the thing about gun metal... Yeah, do you know what? We're going to go gun metal on that one, John. Yeah. And uh, with a dark wash. Mm -hmm. Just I'm, I'm always wary of introducing colour washes because it could end up looking rubbish. Whereas we know if we use the, the dark tones and the soft tones, it's going to shade it. But, I'm more interested in shading it than... Well... We're, we're going to run into the fact that it'll just look like the model straight out of the box with a bit of wash on it. That's true. That's true. So we're going to have to see how we can avoid that. Yeah. I'm not sure how we're going to avoid no, that you're in, the not, time, are you? in the time that's given. <laughs> well, uh, what we say, well, we agree. Well, we go for pure red on the on the, uh, on the infantry, yeah. on the only AI units. Um, and then go for um, bolt gun, uh, or sorry, or like a, a gun, gun metal. metal or plate mail. Perhaps. I maybe I'll go the plate mail. I think it's so. always the, one of the things about picking colors is sometimes, if for us especially, it's worth going with the brighter color. Yeah. Which means that whenever you put your washes and tone, you know, your shading over it, it still has a or, bit of vibrancy about it. Or we do the gun metal. Uh huh. Wash it all down and, and then, then dry, dry brush it with, with a plate mail. With a plate mail, yeah. Yeah. Then we've got two variations with the mid tone. Yeah, probably the next time you see this, we will have changed our minds. But if we probably. do, we will we will explain. So that's what we're going to do for. That's what we're going to do for the algorithm. Yeah. Okay. So, signed, sealed, and delivered. Next up, we have the boromites. Now the boromites are a fascinating army because these guys. If you look at them, almost look like they have stone mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, I'm thinking wolf gray. All right, for that really cold kind of skin. Mm -hmm. The difficulty with going wolf gray on it 
is then you have to highlight the likes of the chest areas and stuff like that. Dry brush white. To differentiate them. Dry could you just, white. you reckon we could just do more dry brushing on the chest areas? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. So we could go wolf grey, yep. which will give it that nice, cold, stony look. Mm -hmm. um, other stone options, you could go uniform grey, but I think that's maybe a bit predictable. It's too... too Black and white. But, yeah. It's too grey. It's, yeah, it's yeah. nice to get some kind of a shade or a colour. You could go skeleton bone and go for a nice sandstone. We could go for a sandstone, because the other thing about this is, they have machines. So can you get these machines? Let me see, you've got them, yeah? So do you see these machines, John? Yeah. So what we could do is, if we went for a sandstone, we could use desert yellow on the actual machines and the little machines themselves, you know, these little flyers and stuff mm -hmm. like that. However, I think we'll get more contrast if we go with the, the wolf grey yeah. and the desert yellow. I'm kind of... I want to go against it a little. I want to go against the grain a little with it. What do you reckon? Then? I want to go turquoise. Turquoise? Yes. I want to go like that grey, uh -huh. all washed down a dry brush, and I want a turquoise where that orange is. You mean something like the, the purple or, or no, what? No, I mean, we actually have, we should have turquoise colours around here somewhere. Yeah. And I'd like to just... See, my difficulty with that is the machines, we know we can prime the machines. Yes, but we can pr still prime those that grey. Mm -hmm. And just pick out those plates. You won't have time. Will I not? No. <laughs> Are you I, sure I, about I'm, that? I'm Even if I have to take this home with me, I, I would like turquoise on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so wolf grey mm -hmm. with turquoise. Mm -hmm. It's highly fetching. It's very <laughs> colour coordinated. Um, I think the contrast would be better served with something on the other end, the other opposite side of the scale, though. Uh, how so? So you'd I, rather I go think, the desert I, Yeah. I, I think that the, the turquoise is in many ways, too close a match to the wolf grey for us to get that, do you know that high contrast yeah. colour thing that we're looking for? We know with the Aldrin's, we can get it with the, the red and the white. With flashes of white on that, we're going yeah. to get some nice kind of um, contrast there. Mm -hmm. My concern is that the you going turquoise with the, the kind of the bluey grey yeah. would work if we had time to spend on them and would work as a display army, you know, but I think as an army for what we're trying to achieve, um, we won't have, we won't mm -hmm. get the contrast from that, that that we need. Why don't we use necrotic flesh? Yeah, we could use necrotic flesh. Mm -hmm. Or even skeleton bone, or for that matter. Bone. Yeah, because you have that more in a yellow-green scale. Yeah. Right, so where are we? Are we are we agreed that we're going to go with wolf grey for the actual organic parts and the stone bits? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna do wolf grey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, which of the these colors are we gonna go? Um, I'm I'm gonna have to relent and say desert yellow, aren't I? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason being, look at that. Right. Yeah. You see what I'm? You see where I'm going with that? You can you can get the, the if we can hold them a bit closer together. Yeah, you get the idea of the contrast. You can see that there's a contrast there. Mm -hmm. The contrast. It's there. But it's not as strong. I don't think it's as strong. Um, no. There's something about the two tones. I think that that, that there will stand out more. On the actual machines itself. Yep. Right. So that is that. That's us. We've committed. Mm -hmm. We know the colours that we're going to try and, and go with. Um, yeah, well, we're going to go off now and work out what the next stage is.